Hey guys, our topic for today is finding the perfect vein. It's been cool in here today, so I have on a sweater. The number one rule for finding your vein, and this was in one of the comments, so I want to go ahead and touch base on it. The number one rule of thumb is never go by what you see. Always go by what you can feel. You always go by touch. Your sense of touch is going to be your best friend in phlebotomy. So you're going to have to hone in on that craft and play around with wifey, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whomever, when you're just sitting around and get the feel, get to know how these veins feel. They have a nice little plump to them, nice little snap back, never hard. If you ever touch one and it's hard, it's not going to give you any blood. You can tell scar tissue from a vein by feeling, and you just kind of want to get in the habit of when you're doing nothing else is touching and feeling on you know someone it's good to practice of course on someone and um, you can really get good at assessing veins once you do that and once you practice and practice or just just play when you're sitting watching television whenever just riding in the car or the stoplight oh you know how we go you like oh look at that vein you've got really good veins but the thing you want to do is also when you're feeling for a vein close your eyes close your eyes and feel for the vein because most sometimes our brain gets in the way when we're looking and we're like oh my god I can't find it I can't find it because we're doing this we're more focused on the looking than actually feeling although we're looking and feeling we're still tr we are still trying to see that perfect vein when in actuality we need to feel the perfect vein and once you do that you're going to be so comfortable and it's going to take away so much of the stress and fear because there is a fear that you won't find the right vein so by assessing and touching and and comforting your patient and that's comforting to a patient when you're touching them and rubbing on them because lots of times these patients don't want to be stuck anyway so if you're one of those people where you can sit and just kind of thunder I don't know if you guys heard that and just kind of feel and rub and touch um, that's gonna be your best friend that's gonna be yeah the, your touch is gonna be your best friend when it comes to finding the perfect vein so practice 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 makes perfect even touch your own um, I always go to the wrist area for um, a lot of uh, a lot of patients or the patients that I really can't find a vein on I always go to the wrist area and a cubital it of course is my choice my number one choice I never go anywhere else I always start on the forearm when I'm looking for these veins and I always feel my I always rub my patients you know when they're in my chair I'm rubbing them and talking to them laughing and while they're laughing I'm still rubbing them. they don't know I'm feeling for that vein they just think oh my gosh she's so compassionate and I am I'm not you know not blowing my horn or anything but you do have to have that as well and you have to be comfortable with touching patients you have to be comfortable with feeling them and it, it comforts your patient it's gonna comfort you it's gonna put you at ease and you're gonna feel something you're going to feel that vein and of course always put your tourniquet on when the patient sits in your chair just go ahead and put the tourniquet on I'll be like you know what I'm just gonna look I always tell them that I always start out with I'm just going to look especially if they're hard they think they're hard or they're nervous or whatever you know just tell them say well, look have a seat we're just looking right now I don't have any needles or anything we're just looking that's your opportunity to touch and feel the patient and that's what you do it's never by sight I hardly ever look at my patient's arm when they sit in my chair especially if I think they're going to be difficult or if they think they're difficult I glance and then I put the tourniquet on and of course I stroke I rub through the antecubital area and then I just rub the whole arm, the outside of the arm. Always check the wrist area, um, the side on the side of the wrist. I never stick here. This is a no-no. Never, never, never stick there. But I always rub the entire arm and just feel. And you want to find your vein that way. Never ever by sight. You know. I mean, sometimes you can look at it and then you feel it. Oh yeah, that's the perfect one. That's okay. That's okay. That happens. You have those patients, but nine times out of ten, you're going to have those patients where you do have to take your time. You do have to feel and touch for that vein. And that's with any patient. Actually, you just get lucky sometimes. You get a patient. Oh my gosh! 
if you get a patient with a pipe running through their arm and you look at it and you just know oh my gosh yes because you can look at them and kind of tell too well that's a good one sometimes you can look at them and say "Ooh, that one's not going to be good so that's going to come but for right now it's all in your touch and one hand may be more sensitive than the other because mine are I can't find a vein really well with my left finger my left index finger so I always use my right so it may be different for for someone else so always 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 go by your touch not by your sight so yeah if you have any more questions about that let me know I'm sure I'm going to add more as I respond to these comments so I'm sure I'll say things once or twice but I'm still trying to stick with them and stay within the topic so that is how and that is what this video is for how to find your vein and we want to find it by touching not by sight or looking so I hope this video was helpful thumbs up thank you guys so much for all the comments keep them coming because I need them and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video let's see what the next topic is going to be because I don't know I'm going to go back and look through them and uh, pick my next topic so I'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye